Yo, what's going on, y'all? So, um, I have a message coming from Holy Spirit. And I have had this message for about a couple of days now. And it's late, but Holy Spirit wants me to get this message out. And I have had a hard time um, with pressing record because... I can feel that whoever this woman is, she really loves this man. She really loves this man. And the Lord knows that it's not easy for you to do what it is that he is asking you to do or what he has told you to do. Whoever you are, you have received instructions from the Lord. But you really love this man. You love this man with all your heart. And um, it's hard for you to see and to let go. It's hard for you to see this man hurting and to see this man in need and it's hard for you to let go and to just walk away from this man but um i'm gonna start with what holy spirit gave me and then i'm gonna just so there was a man who was lonely and sad and he felt like he didn't have anybody or anything he felt like he had no one to relate to, no one to understand him, no one to talk to, no one to share his life with, until one day he woke up and there you were, the answers to his prayers. The Lord sent you to be this man's helpmate, his helpmeet, and you loved him with all your heart, and you loved him the way a wife was supposed to. So the Lord sent you to this man so that he would no longer be lonely. He would have someone. And even if you couldn't relate to everything he's been to in his life, you were still relatable to him. And you understood him. You took the time out to understand him. You were someone that he could talk to and share his life with. But there was a separation. And I'm reading from Genesis chapter 3, verses 22 through 24. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever and ever. Therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to the ground from whence he was taken. So he drove out the man and he placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims and, flaming, and a flaming sword which turned every way to keep the way of the tree of life. God drove this man out of the garden representing an earthly paradise, a place without shelter, shade, or protection. You were this man's garden you were his earthly paradise you were his shelter his shade and his protection this man was or is in a place where the lord is not the lord wants this woman to know that she is in disobedience the lord won't wanted to make you aware of something that was larger than yourself. So, although you love this man, there was a separation. Why only you and the Lord know? But the Lord caused the separation and for some reason or another, 
you, the woman, are in diso in a disobedience. The Lord wanted to make you aware of something that was larger than yourself. So there was a separation, and the Lord brought something to your attention, something that was larger than just you. Okay? But you are not listening because you love and desire, not just sexually, but you have strong feelings for it and you want this man, your husband. So you are in disobedience because you are not listening because you love and desire and you have strong feelings for it and you want your husband. So this is causing you to be in disobedience. You love this man with your whole heart and you want to help him. You want him to do and to get better. When I was writing this, I felt a pain in my heart. What the Lord is asking you to do is not easy for you. It breaks your heart. But if you do not listen to the Lord, it will be hard for you to conceive. And if you are already pregnant, the Lord is talking about conceiving plans and ideas. Because you are already, because you already may be with child for whoever this message is for. And if you are not with child already, then this is for someone who is a mother of the living, meaning a mother to the living, meaning you are either pregnant with child or you are someone who the Lord gave a church to and you are someone who teaches the living about the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ his children but if you are with pregnant with child this may be another reason why it is hard for you to separate yourself from this man now that you are in disobedience with the Lord this man is listening to you he is in full co cooperation. Your instructions may have been to separate yourself and not to talk to him. And your disobedience looks like you being with this man and speaking with him. And now that you are in disobedience with the Lord, this man is in full compliance with you, listening and doing what you ask him to do. Now you are both in disobedience with the Lord. This man was driven out of the garden of paradise by God himself. Paradise representing you. This man was separated from you by God himself and with no shelter or shade, with no covering. He was in a place where it was hot, okay? He was going through hell without you. He had no covering. And then the Lord protected you with angels and fire swords. The Lord says he will still look after you because you, he will still look after you and he will still cover you because he loves you and he made you a mother to all the living, meaning you teach his children. And if you decide to continue to stay in disobedience, there will be sin, sorrow, hardships, cares, anxieties, deceitfulness of riches, lust for other things, poverty and weakness you will have to work hard for money all the days of your life and this may be something this may not be a plan that the lord has for you for you to work hard all the days of your life but if you are in disobedience to him then this may be something that you may have to do work hard all the days of your life the Lord wants you to be concerned about your foundation, what this is built on, your footing, the basis on which something is established. Your Is your foundation and your footing secure? The steps you are taking, is it secure? The Lord does not want your feet to be loosened or moved in a way or in a direction that he has not set for you in your path, making things harder for you to the point where you are unable to conceive new ideas or new plans. 
and instead it end up working two or three jobs to sustain. That's not the Lord's plans for you. <sighs> okay, so that was the message that the Lord had has caused a separation between you and someone that you love. And he told you, revealed something to you about this person that he made something aware to you about this person that was bigger than yourself, that was bigger than you. And the Lord may have told you to stay separated from this person and not speak to this person. But you love this person so much and you desire to be with this person so much. You have such strong feelings for this man and you want to be with him. This may this may definitely be your husband. But the Lord has called a separation and, and revealed something to you. But you want to help your husband. Okay, your heart hurts. And it. I felt, like I said, I felt pain in my heart when I was writing this. You want to help him. You want to see him do better. And what the Lord is asking you to do is not easy. It breaks your heart. But if you do not listen to the Lord, it will be hard for you to conceive the things that he has for you. Like I said, you may be someone who is already pregnant. And if not, then you may have problems conceiving the things that the Lord has for you, like plans and ideas. You are someone who the Lord gave a church to. You teach to his children. The Lord says he will always be there for you and cover you. But your foundation is something that he is worried about. Your footing is something that you should be worried about. Your foundation and your footing is something that you should be worried about. And in your di disobedience... You will suffer from sorrow, sin, hardship, cares, anxieties, deceitfulness of richness, and there will be lust for other things. And you will feel weak. So the Lord just wants you to know this and to be aware of this because you are in disobedience um, right now by doing whatever it is he has asked you not to do because what he asked you to do is hard for you in the way you feel and the lord wants you to know that he knows how you feel and he understands how you feel and he knows that none of us are perfect but he also wants you to know that he gave you instructions and directions to follow and he wants you to follow those things even though it hurts you he needs you for you to listen to him because he doesn't want you to suffer or go through any of these things that you will go through the Lord wants you to be concerned about your foundation and your footing, your path, the direction and where you're going. All right, so that's the message. Peace.